Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from CyberLab, and today will be another video about uh, smart device. In this video, we'll explain a little bit more about ZigBee connection and what's the options that you can have to connect all your ZigBee device in your home system or in your other system. Here in my left hand, I have a ZigBee jungle where they connect to the USB and my right hand, I have my ZigBee bridge. Both it's from the same manufacturing, but uh, they do similar job in different ways. Also, they have a different performance depend how you use it and what the, your application. So in this video, we're gonna explain a little bit more about those two devices, the difference of those, and which one that uh, it's better for one side or worse for the other side. So if you want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for the channel if you are not subscribed yet, and let's understand a little bit more about it. So before we start to talk the difference between this and this, we need to understand what means Zigbee. And to explain what means Zigbee, I need to start to explain what types of connection that the normal the smart device has. So normally the smart device have a three types of connections. The first one will be the Wi-Fi connection, which most of the house has. And this Wi-Fi connection, they will connect through your router and that they will connect directly in the cloud. This type of connection normally is focus for the device that's connect directly on mains. Because if you have Wi-Fi and your device connect to Wi-Fi, the quantity of data is higher. So if you have a battery, the battery will run really fast. Compared for Z-Wave and Zigbee, the type of connection, it's uh, with a low frequency, and normally they will transmit low quantity of data. Because they transmit low quantity of data, you have uh, less usage of power. In this way, you can have some small device which has battery and because the quantity of information is not so much, they will save battery and those small batteries can rest for a long, long time. What normally Wi-Fi cannot perform in the same way or cannot give you the same ability. So have this one in mind, we're gonna explain specifically Zigbee because one of my previous video, I explained what's the difference between Zigbee and Z-Wave. If you didn't see, stop this video and have a look in the other one. Otherwise, we're gonna continue and try to explain a little bit more about those devices. Basically, those devices are manufactured for the same manufacturing, but with a different characteristic. This one, it's the USB dongle, where they don't work standalone. If you try to connect this one for the mains, they will not connect or they will not work in the way that you expect because they are made specifically to have a Raspberry Pi or a computer running home system or other device, other applications, principally home system. And then you can come here, connect to the USB. And in this way, you can control all your smart device. Different for this one that you only have the power connection and you're gonna ask how it's gonna work. They connect for your Wi-Fi, and then all the device in your house will connect for this box. And in this way, you have uh, all the devices communicate for this box, and from this box, they will communicate to the cloud. This one, they will not work local. You need to have the cloud. And then come the second point. This one, you need the cloud. This one, you're gonna need the cloud. No you can have your local network. Either that's your internet drop, if your Wi-Fi or your internet connection still work in your house, so you can still use this device to turn on and off any device in your house. Different this one because this one properly need a cloud. So in this way, you're gonna say, Alan, this one's better. No, they are not better and they're not worse. They're only different applications. What I can say, this one, they will work directly with home system. So all the automation, all the information that you have or collect through this uh, antenna, they will record directly or in your SSD or connect directly in your SSD that you did and that uh, they will transmit all the information. 
This one is a little bit different. They will connect initially to the cloud. And after this one, yes, you can have a link to your home system or you can have a track in your phone. And because they work in the cloud, you can connect track to the Alexa or connect directly for the Google Assistant and other device. Different for this one that you need to make your home system to communicate with them. This one, the cloud will connect automatically for those. Other thing that's interesting is that this USB have a limited quantity of device that you can have. So if you start to put too much device in one of those USB, they will have the problem that they will start to chew lag. They will not communicate as fast as you expect. And sometimes they will stop to work. Different from those that they are made to have lots of device connect and they are made to be stable. Other thing that's interesting that those, because they connect directly to the cloud, you have more applications for it. You can have more advanced support and you can have more advanced features. One example, you can have different scenes directly for this one and do some automation directly this one and that add more extra automation in your home system. And if this home assistant disconnect and this one is still connect to the internet, they still work in the same way because you have program. Other thing, you can connect directly for your phone and that you can communicate in the cloud. If your home assistant don't have external access outside from your house, you only can do it local. You cannot do it or cannot control your lamps or everything outside for your house. So this one is a little bit bonus because they were in the cloud and anywhere that you are, you can turn on, turn off and do everything. Either way that your home assistant is connected or not. And if your home assistant don't have external connection to the uh, internet or they don't have the correctly ports open, they will not be able to be accessed outside for your network and you cannot do all the automation or cannot use everything that you could with this device. Other thing that's interesting to highlight that this USB, either that they have same connection for this one, they have issues with uh, some specific device, what this one don't show so much issues. But depend how the way that configurate, because those have uh, at least two ways to configurate. The first one, you can add in your home system, go directly integration, and you can configure this integration. The other option, you can have a container or a token container running and connect for this device. And then you're going to have a Mosquito or MMT working to communicate between that Docker container and all your device. So in this way, you still have more ways to configure it. And this one is plug and play, no problem, but no configuration. And you cannot do anything else. So I hope that you guys like this video in this way, once that you're going to decide which device that you should connect or which device that you should choose, at least you have more information and you want to decide the correctly device for your application. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel if you are not subscribed yet and see you next time. Bye.